to other people and causing other women to be abused and killed the way you did others. Listen, I'm no social scientist and I haven't done a survey. I mean, I, I don't pretend that I know what John Q. Citizen thinks about this. <clears throat> but I've lived in prison for a long time now. And I've met a lot of men who were motivated to commit violence just like me. And without exception, every one of them was deeply involved in pornography without question, without exception, deeply influenced and consumed by an addiction to pornography. And boys, do we explore the, the back roads and sideways and byways of our neighborhood and oftentimes people would dump the garbage and whatever they were cleaning out of their house and from time to time we come across so, pornographic books of a harder nature than uh, more of uh, graphic, you might say, more explicit nature than we would encounter, let's say, in your local grocery store. And this also included such things as, let's say, detective magazines and uh, more... Those hard that involve violence. We're talking about yeah. an influence which, that is, the influence of violent types of media and, and violent pornography, which had an, was, was an indispensable link in the chain of behavior, the, the chain of events that led to the behavior, to the, to the assaults, to the murders, and what, and what have you. I was apparently a little Kimberly Leach, 12 years of age. Uh, I think the, the public outcry is greater there because an innocent child was taken from a, from a playground. What did you feel after that? What was there? Were there the normal emotions three days later? Where were you then? I... I can't really talk about that right now. Those of us who are, who have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular pornographic violence, are not some kind of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And we grew up in regular families. And pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today. They snatched me out of my home. It snatched me out of my home 20, 30 years ago. You can only speculate. Yeah. Well, I I know it would have been far better, not just for me and and uh, excuse me for being so self-centered here. It would have been a lot better for me and lots of other people. I know that I had lots of other innocent people, victims and families. It would have been a lot better, there's no question, but it would have been a, a, a fuller life, but certainly a, a life that would not have involved, I'm absolutely certain, would not have involved this kind of violence that I have been, that I have committed.